Welcome back. Well, the Grand Forks Relay for Life events are tomorrow night. We've got Georgia Smith with us this morning to talk about what's happening. So good morning. Welcome to the show. Well, good morning. Thank you so much for having me. So tell us, what is this event exactly? Relay for Life, it, it's actually put on by the American Cancer Society. And what it is, is it's an opportunity for folks to come out. They raise teams, families come out as a group, and they walk to raise funds for the American Cancer Society for research. Um, we couldn't do the things we do as a cancer center if it weren't for the American Cancer Society and the research they do behind us. So where is it all taking place? Sure. What are the hours? Um, we're going to be in Grand Forks. It's going to be at the Grand Cities Mall and Hope Gospel, which is um, right at the corner of 17th and South Washington. Um, the Grand Cities Mall has opened up to us, so rain or shine, we'll be able to walk. That's so the nice. event and the walk will actually be in the Grand Cities Mall. And then Altru Hospital is sponsoring a survivor dinner, which a survivor and their caregiver, family member, can come out and have a dinner and celebrate the fact that they're there. There's actually a special survivor's walk that goes on right before the dinner where all the survivors come out and get to take a lap and actually just rejoice the fact that they're there with us. So, I mean, cancer just seems to have impacted you know, everybody that you know in some way shape or form. So uh, how do you get registered? And if you want to come out and even just partake in the festivities or? Anyone can come out and join us at five o'clock or anytime between five and nine. If you would like to register a team and come out and walk to fundraise, you can actually go to the Google and Google Relay for Life. It'll bring up, you put your zip code in and if you're in Grand Forks, it's going to take you right to the spot. Great, great stuff. So anything else you want to share just about what you guys are doing to make a difference? And sure. Uh, just to say that, you know, <clears throat> it is important to support these activities. Cancer is on the rise. We expect a 16% increase here in the Grand Cities area just in the next two to five years. So we want to do everything we can to help people with awareness, um, with prevention, and also with just the knowledge that they need to help keep themselves safe. What do you attribute the increase to? Um, I think it's just because the population's getting older. You know, uh, the baby boomers are now coming into those golden years, and unfortunately, that's where cancer sets in. Nice thing to know is you had this beautiful episode on fruit, and fresh fruit and vegetables is a great way to protect yourself from cancer. Great point. Any, any other kind of foods you should be focused on eating or staying away from even? Um, it, the best thing to do <clears throat> is look at a healthy diet. That means no excess of any one thing. I uh, hate to say it in the barbecue season, but overdoing barbecued <laughs> foods is probably not the best thing you could do. Same thing with deep fried foods. But natural foods, and we're lucky here in North Dakota that we have access to so many natural homegrown foods. And that is the best thing. Less, less prepared foods, more organic foods made right from scratch. Good stuff. Just if you don't mind quickly, just remind people where, when? Sure. It is in Grand Forks <clears throat> at the Hope Church and Grand Cities Mall. Um, it's at 17th and Washington. Starts at 5 p.m. and we go till 9 o'clock. Great stuff. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for we having appreciate me. appreciate it. Go check it out. As we just mentioned, everyone's been touched in some way, shape, or form by cancer. So go out there and make a difference. And stay with us. Coming up in just a moment, how a local group is Hoping to rally the public to help pay off local school lunch debt. Stick around, we got much more coming up.